The latest temporary ceasefire around Donetsk International Airport give us the chance to explore what has become the hottest spot in the East Ukraine conflict. This is the fourth time the insurgents claim the ceasefire, but frankly speaking, the way they feel they are stronger to stop this war is weird. Today, they use their small and heavy arms I mean, at Ukrainian positions as intensively as they did it before. So, an APC like this is still the most popular transport in the combat zone. At least we feel ourselves safe here. The village of Piski has become a Ukrainian Stalingrad. Not a single house is untouched by war. Ukrainian forces continue to defend the ruins of the village. Volunteer fighters from right sector, based here in Piski, provide cover for the defenders of Donetsk airport and keep the so-called road of life open, which is the only way to deliver food and ammunition to Ukraine's cyborg soldiers inside the airport itself. Вашу позицію накривають? Кожен вечір, кожен день накривають. Снайпера тут з трьох точок б'ють в нас. The Russian media typically depicts the Ukrainian nationalist group right sector as an extremist mass movement. But the reality is far more modest. The right sector forces in Piski amount to a few dozen volunteers who fight shoulder to shoulder with the troops of the regular Ukrainian army. At the moment, they are trying to neutralize a group of Russian saboteurs. This sniper is targeting one of the saboteurs operating close to Donetsk airport. The battle for Donetsk International Airport continues, both above ground and below. This entrance leads to the airport's drainage system. The Ukrainian defenders are utilizing the tactics of Maidan and employing tires. The airport defenders throw tires into the vast underground drainage complex before setting them on fire. Значит, по разведданным через коллектора до нас добираются. Сейчас ведь часу их их разведка или лазутчики. Мы вырешили продымить его, чтобы побачить выход из коллектору. Ну и перекрыть им сюда дорогу. Ну, проще кажучи, выкурить. Да, выкурить. Вы закрыли для чего? Что далее будем? Посмотрим, откуда дым будет выходить из руки. The battle for Donetsk International Airport has been raging for months and has gained huge symbolic importance for both sides in the East Ukraine conflict. It is a battle fought at close quarters, in many cases from building to building and even from floor to floor. Ukrainian soldiers control the airport's new terminal building. The old terminal is located several dozen meters to the right and is the most active battle zone. Locally recruited insurgent forces shell the new terminal building from the positions on Stratonot Street and the Metro Shopping Mall. Russian fighters attack Ukrainian forces from the airport fire station. The air traffic control tower remains one of the strategic keys to the battle, allowing Ukrainian defenders to monitor insurgent movements. The tower is under constant artillery bombardment. Only diehard troops scale the tower to protect the Ukrainian flag. This route along the runway connects the new terminal building with Piski village. It is the only way to deliver reinforcements, ammunition and food to the airport, earning it the nickname the Road of Life. Donetsk International Airport remains a priority for the insurgent forces. But this Ukrainian reconnaissance officer, who has recently been behind enemy lines, claims that Russian forces concentrated in the conflict zone are currently insufficient to mount any large-scale offensives. Вот наступление со стороны российских войск, 
со стороны всех остальных банд формирований, то оно невозможно, это, скорее всего, только бравада и голословные слова. Perhaps that is the reason why this family has decided to stay put right in the epicenter of the battlefield, in the largely abandoned village of Piski. The father doesn't have any faith in temporary ceasefires, but expects fighting to end soon, nonetheless. Первое перемирие закончилось тем, что со стрелкового вооружения перешли на вот ту тяжелую артиллерию. Разница между максимум 16 мм и 152 есть. His eight-year-old son no longer attends school. After months of intensive shelling, there is no school anymore in Piski. Instead, he shows us photo of his best friend who has already left the village. Это фотография твоего друга, который жил здесь, да? Ага. И куда он уехал? Из Чечен на в этот в Россию. А что ты не уехал никуда? Потому потому что the few remaining residents of Piski measure the days by short periods of silence. As long as they are here, there is still hope that peace will return to the village. Andriy Tsaplyanko and Volodymyr Ostapenko reporting from the Donbas for Ukraine Today.